During my four years at the White House and six years in the U.S. government, I went through various rounds of security clearance processes. The first time, it was to get the clearance I needed to join the U.S. Treasury Department and deploy overseas to Iraq and later to renew that clearance and gain access to higher levels of classified information. Never, at any point, did I hear about the two presidents that I served under President George W. Bush and President Barack Obama nor any member of their team intervening to get someone a clearance when experts advised against doing so. Chairman of the House Oversight Committee Elijah Cummings has shared that a Whistler blower said that the White House pushed for 25 security clearances to be granted despite serious disqualifying issues. This means that there is a larger chance that foreign intelligence services have access to what should be our most private places and sensitive information. While my former bosses understood the benefits of letting experts determine who is responsible enough to handle classified information, the Trump administration's failure to take such a basic set of security precautions is already imperiling our national security. The White House has not yet made a comment, but Congressman Jim Jordan who sits on the Oversight Committee has discounted the whistleblower's allegations and the intent behind the whistleblower's testimony and Cummings' oversight investigation. White House staffers have historically been appointed to positions based on some underlying characteristics which include being qualified for the job and being able to responsibly conduct their work on behalf of our government, not anyone else's. To ensure that prospective White House personnel can responsibly handle classified information, a team of experts review their background and official answers provided in a security clearance application, known as an SF-86. One of the primary goals of a security clearance investigation done by the FBI or CIA is to ensure that a foreign government doesn't know something about an applicant, that the U.S. government does not drug use, a secret marital affair, debts, and other imbroglios that an applicant may want to keep secret. That's why behavior before government service and how an applicant represents it is so carefully considered.